Princess Eugenie announced her engagement to Jack Brooks Bank on Monday. Although a date is yet to be set, they'll wed at St George's Chapel later in 2018. Eugenie's close friend Cressida is expected to attend the autumn ceremony. Prince Harry is expected to attend the nuptials with new wife Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle could meet Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend Cressida Bonas at Princess Eugenie's wedding. The Queen's 27-year-old granddaughter announced her engagement to her long-term boyfriend Jack Brooks Bank on Monday. The couple have decided on an autumn wedding at St George's Chapel, the same venue where Ms Markle will marry Harry on May 19. And although Eugenie has yet to set a date for her ceremony, Cressida Bonas, who split from Harry in 2014, is likely to be among the guests. Scroll down for video Eugenie is close friends with the 28-year-old actress and originally introduced her to Harry. The prince will also be expected to attend the ceremony, along with his new wife. It's not the only potentially awkward encounter that could occur at Eugenie's wedding. Her mother, Sarah, Duchess of York, is likely to come face to face with Prince Philip. Sarah paved the way for her exit from the royal family in 1992 after the paparazzi snapped her some bathing topless while having her toes sucked by her financial advisor. She was staying at Balmoral when the images were published and the Windsors came across them in the morning newspapers at the breakfast table. Her relationship with her in-laws, particularly the Duke of Edinburgh, was left in tatters. In recent years, the Duchess has been to Balmoral for short breaks with the Queen, her ex-husband Prince Andrew and Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, but is thought to have stayed when Prince Philip was away. She wasn't invited to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's wedding. It was so difficult because I wanted to be there with my girls. And to be getting them dressed and to go as a family, Sarah, who also wed at Westminster Abbey, later admitted. And it was also hard because the last bride up that aisle was me. But happier days are on the horizon, and on Monday, the Duchess exuberantly welcomed the news of her daughter's engagement. In a series of tweets, she branded the news total joy, adding, We love Jack and I am so excited to have a son, a brother and a best friend. She said, Eugenie is one of the finest people I know and so together it will be pure harmony. As for the wedding itself, while Harry and Ms Markle's nuptials will be televised and attract thousands of media and well-wishers to Windsor, Eugenie should be more low-key. But the taxpayer will foot the bill for police presence at Eugenie's wedding, just like Harry's. With the Queen and other senior royals attending the big day, security will be tight as the monarch and her family gather for the celebration. Others who could make the guest list are Eugenie's friends Ellie Goulding, Sir Richard Branson's Holly, model Cara Delevingne and presenter Natalie Pinkham. But her older sister Princess Beatrice is the favourite to a bridesmaid or even the maid of honour. Following the wedding, Eugenie, currently eighth in line to the throne, can stay a princess and retain her HRH title after her wedding when she marries plain Mr Brooksbank. She would become HRH the Princess Eugenie, Mrs Jack Brooksbank. She could, however, choose to relinquish her royal style and title on marriage, but this is thought unlikely. But the Queen could even offer Mr Brooksbank, the UK brand ambassador for Casamigos Tequila, an earldom ahead of his wedding day, which would mean Eugenie would become a countess. In 2016, Andrew said there was no truth in rumours of a rift between him and the Prince of Wales over his daughter's participation as members of the royal family, and insisted he had not asked for any future son-in-laws to be made earls, 